really know who women again it's the be do have thing what Unless do you mean by that? I'm not sure what be do have is. Okay, be, do, have it be okay. So I want to be. So I want to work with polymer clay. Do I go out and buy polymer clay? No. I read some books. I try to find out where people come from. Why are they using that medium instead of plaster or resin or resin clay or or regular clay? I mean, there's lots of people making the same kind of beads out of different stuff. <clears throat> so that's a B. And then do means. You actually have the skill. You start working with it. You start making mistakes. You start accepting your mistakes. You start looking at your mistakes going, hey, that's not bad like the, the post you had the other day. That's not bad if I do this, this, and this to it. What the heck? I was going to throw it away anyway. And then you have what you want. You have the ability because you've started in the right way. You've started thinking, be, being, really being, kind of saying, you know, like a lot of people say, I don't know. Am I an artist? I, I don't know. I don't have like my the name of my shop is Stories They Tell. I don't have any stories. I go, how old are you? <laughs> you have a story. Where, did, where were you born? What did you do? What were you into? You have a story. You just don't like your story. So then invent a new story or something or make it up. Why not? That's what authors do all the time. But when people say, I can't be an artist, you know, there are all these little, you know, homily things you find out, like how to be an artist. It's like, remember what you liked to do when you were a kid or place you like to go when you were a kid. It's like, get back into that childhood. When I sit and I do clay, I mean, hours go by. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> the other day, I told my husband, I'll bring the cake to work. It's like, uh-oh, it's 1030. I don't have a cake made yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Run into the kitchen. You what know, she does talk about, she talks about an artist date. Oh, the She's, artist way? Yes, the artist Jul way. Julia hey, Cameron? Yes, yeah. transform my whole way of looking at, you know, being an artist, because I always thought... I am an artist. And then I'd go to an opening and people say, well, what do you do? And I wanted to say, I'm an artist. And I thought, I don't have any shows. I don't have any stuff. I, don't, I have nothing to show for it. That doesn't mean you're not an artist. Do you live your life like an artist? Do you have, do you have ideas that you even write down? Do you even think about things instead of just gluing yourself in front of the TV set with the potato chips every night? I mean, what does an artist do? An artist is decorating their space, they're, they're wearing weird clothes, and, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can be an artist, you know, um, it's not one thing, it doesn't mean, I had a gallery show last week, that's not it, if you never have a gallery show, if I never have a gallery show, I don't care, that's, I now know I'm an artist, because that's what I love to do, that's what makes people happy when they see my stuff, um, and that, that's just who I am. And I think you have to get to that point. And reading her book was this whole thing about, it was great. You know, artists think you have to be tortured. Yeah, you know, I look at poor Whitney Houston, I'm thinking, everybody thinks, oh, you have to be a drug addict to be a good singer. <laughs> you don't. The thing is, when you're in that space of I'm tortured or I'm hurt, you never create art there. You always create it afterwards. So being there all the time doesn't help you do art. When you think about it afterwards, maybe it does. Because I played folk music for years, and I always wondered, you know, what kind of, you know, I always said, oh, I, I do my best performing when I've just broken up with somebody. I'm thinking, well, you know, <laughs> not while you're still in pain. Afterwards, when you can work it into a, a into a part of your entertainment, but not while you're in it. So torturing yourself, abusing, like have a nice normal lifestyle, and you'll be a much better artist because you'll be there present with your art all the time instead of just... <clears throat> You know, <laughs> zonk down on the couch with an overloaded chocolate or absinthe or whatever your drug of choice is. So, so the artist way really kind of, she talked about that a lot. Um, and giving yourself the space. You know, this whole idea of an artist date. Like, just put everything down. Like, when you said, I said about the studio, that was a big joke. I mean, I did throw a few things over there so you can't see them. But... <laughs> My house is not clean. My house has dust balls. But I would rather work with polymer clay for five hours than clean my house. I hate cleaning my house. You know, I don't really care. For the few people that come over here, then I clean the house. I go crazy, you know, once a year when my sister comes to visit. I, but consider I'm just, I consider more I'm a mixed media artist now than strictly polymer clay because I love to mix stuff in. I like to buy gemstones. I just bought some fossil mammoth bones. Ooh, so exciting. I've been kind of going toward this idea of really old natural stuff so I just bought some Roman glass, some mammoth bone, uh, some Baltic amber, I found some meteorite beads. I can't wait to get those on the website because polymer is old. See I think I think to get, tell you my one big people say 
Well, it's not natural. It's not a gemstone. And I say, well, where do you think polymer clay comes from? It comes from oil, and I, if I'm not mistaken, it comes from dinosaurs or ferns. I can't remember. One's coal and one's oil. But it's a natural substance. And you